One of the cool things about this space was being able to have a retail store. We have people that travel across the world that want to come and kind of immerse themselves in what we do. And uh, we knew that it was important to have a place where you can galvanize those fans. We, have, uh, we just got someone, a group from Ireland that came here. We have groups from uh, England. We have, I mean, what are some of the more interesting places? Brazil. Brazil. All over the place, yeah. Indonesia. Indonesia. They all they come here. So, San Paulo? San Paulo, even. So, this retail store. Sao Paulo? Can you turn yeah. on the music a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. So, one of the big things that was important for me was to take what people think of as, um, like Disney started doing it a long time ago where you have an, an intellectual property and you, you tell it in a transmedia kind of way, but at the end of the day, it looks kind of childish sometimes when you try to merchandise it. Or if you go to a comic book store, it always seems so niche and not very elevated. I wanted to have a retail store that was kind of chic and cool and eclectic, but it, it was an elevated way of displaying this stuff. And most of the people come in, do they know what it is? Or they just yeah. wander in? What do you think? Most people that come in, do they even know? Yeah, they'll know that you are that you're out in the store. Um, also, there's a super fan that comes in here and loves it, that falls in love with it, and loves every little aspect, of, all the details in it too, like the posters we have out had up there. I think we get what. Uh, Tell the story yeah. of that poster. Um, that's Drew Struzan. So, Drew Struzan was the famous movie you're, you're okay. poster painter. All the original Star Wars films, Blade Runner films, um, Indiana Jones films, all those posters that look like big fantasy movie posters, that was Drew Struzan. One of the last paintings he's ever done was that painting right there, which is for the Angels and Airwaves album, I Empire. Um, we still have it. You know, uh, everyone's like, you look like Luke Skywalker, and I say, yeah, I do. Uh, this is Poet Anderson. This is the animation for, this is how we launched our first novel um, by a short film where we won Best Animation at the Toronto Film Festival, which is a very coveted award, and I wanted to make sure that we get that very clear. And will that be a major motion picture, a full yes. motion picture? Yeah, so Poet Anderson will be a major motion picture, and, um, and as I've learned how it works, these movies, man, they just take a long time. They're just, it's a complex. When you start a business and you wanna be an entrepreneur, you have gotta think about, okay, it costs money, who are my partners, um, how are we gonna trademark it, how are we gonna, I mean, every little crazy detail out of a hundred things of what you gotta do when you start a company, every single movie is like starting a company. Every single one, and none of them are the same. There's not like one format. In a, a band, you go to a record label, they sign your band and they sign you for a period of years and they give you some money to record it. Like that's the basics of it. A movie, it's like, okay, I finance part of it and Germany finance part of it, but a distributor in Canada is gonna come up and distribute it, but I gotta get a bank to do the paperwork for the, the holes in the system and, and then you can have another movie that's like, you know what, the whole thing's financed by a Russian. <laughs> you know, and then, all, then there's another one where it's like Universal Studios is gonna pay for 80% of it, the bank will do, like everyone is different and um, there's no like set model how it works. So everything takes a lot of, a long time. Let me ask you another question. Do you have uh, the, the super fan, the, the fan that walks in kind of shaking their knees and they're, is he here? Kind yeah, of every time Tom come, comes out here and sees him, he'll like say hi and they're like, oh my God, I didn't expect to see him. And they're just so engaged in everything they see here as well. So it's pretty cool. When you come into the store, the first thing you're gonna see is a lot of t-shirts so these are all t-shirts for the certain properties angels and airway uh, this is lucid dreamer so this is an angels and airways and poet anderson shirt this is um, from a, a book called cathedrals of glass that's coming out at the end of the year um, these are the poet anderson comics poet anderson comics on t-shirts this is a secret machine shirt which is the novel we just released a little bit ago um, this is a poet anderson novel that came out um, about five or six months ago if you look over here, those are all Secret Machines novels. These ones just came out a couple weeks ago. So the white ones are limited edition that you can only get um, a certain way online or, or if you come here. They're, they're not in all the stores. The black ones are the ones that are actually in stores. And the guitars are your guitars. Yeah, so this is a cool display. This is a, a guitar that I used quite a lot on stage. 
I figured if people want to come in and just poke around, they might want to see that more than some of the other stuff. But I was showing you earlier, this is really cool. The first movie we made was called Love, and it was an art house project about a guy that gets trapped in the space station and he loses contact with everybody. And the whole movie really is about how important connection is with other human beings and how to value it once you lose it, obviously. Um, or you know how you learn how much you valued it if you lose it. Well, that movie came out and an astronaut wanted to watch it on the space station. So she sent us this plaque uh, where it shows a picture of the disc on the window overlooking Earth and a letter about how they watched it on the space station, you know? And I, I think she was a huge Angels and Airways fan and wanted to watch the movie up there. And I, I think that's got to be one of the coolest things ever. It takes time to build this. I mean, how, how um, you online? So far? Yeah, Starting well, online? like what, just like the store yeah, and everything? trying to get the word out? Yeah, well, online is the, it's the number one place to do a store, obviously, because you're international and you're in everybody's home. It's, you can window shop from your living room. But yeah, so we've been building the company for a couple of years now, mostly behind the scenes when we did the Love Project, which was a double album and a feature film. Um, but when we launched with Poet Anderson, that whole property, now Secret Machines, we've been doing that strong since about, since about June of last year. It took us about five months to get the building all put together, but um, it's been a lot. And I mean, if you think about what I've accomplished or what I've done in the past year, you know, we'll have three novels, children's book, uh, two, a couple short films, the documentary will be, will be finished, um, th three albums, <laughs> you know? So it's like, you know, a handful of books, a handful of records. Is there yeah. interest in somebody buying the whole thing? No, I'm not interested in that at all. You're you know? not interested in it. Is there anybody else's interest? Uh, in not at another like, time. No. Yeah, there's no one that's looking to buy the whole thing. We're too small for that probably right now. Um, my goal is never to sell it. My goal is that my kids will come here and take it and pick up. Uh, and anything, anytime your kid wants to create something, hopefully when he's adult, an adult, or even when he's 18, he's like, Dad, I got a cool idea for something. We can do it. I mean, the goal would be is that we could finance our own movies so we never have to deal with corporations. I mean, that's, I still got that punk rock spirit where I don't want to ask permission from anybody for anything. That'll never leave, you know.